My name is Shavonda Sisson and I am a Milwaukee Shiro. So I studied Love on Black Women, actually uh, my friend Creighton um, as an example of her work. So she does a lot of direct ass and a lot of direct giving to black women or other um, gender marginalized folks, so folks of marginalized genders um, to help raise funds for just anything from filling their refrigerator, helping them get gas to get to work, school supplies, things like that. Um, and I saw that she was just inundated with ads. And I am a person who has a fairly decent large um, size Facebook following. And I know that people are eager to help, but they don't always know the ways. So I just trusted that people would respond to my ask, and they have, and it's been wonderful. The very best part outside of being able to help like shape the professional, sometimes the personal um, path for, for the folks involved in the program is just working with a staff that is as in love with the work as I am. That makes the work easier. It makes it sustainable when times get really hard with like coaching allies through really difficult things. So I would say the staff is the very best part of being there. I practice self-care in all the traditional ways, like they look really cute, so like spa days and getting your nails done and spending time with your friends at brunch. But then I also have really got into the self-care of saying no. So realizing that I am a person who has, um, I've accepted that I'm a person who has influence, right? And a person who has a lot of energy and a lot of ideas, I'm a lot of skills, but it's very easy for me to stretch myself too thin where I'm not being effective in any way. So just really saying no and focusing on what is my what is my personal mission and how do the things that I'm being asked of or I'm being presented with fit into those and if they don't saying no and sometimes even if they do really well like really thinking about how much energy do I honestly have and so just really being strategic with that no and feeling okay with it. This was the hardest question and not because I don't have them but because I have so many people that I could name. So there are the really easy, like the low hanging for like my mom and my aunts who taught me so much about um, just being like fierce in the way that you, you uh, are strong and the way that you love and how they exemplified that for me and how they exemplify what it means to have love of self and love of family. But then there are folks like my friends who, um, who are so brave in the ways that they take up um, challenges or new experiences. Um, one of them, I was, I was talking about Rosie, who's down at the Fister. I saw her just this morning, like, girl, I need a t-shirt, and she made it happen. But like, just being like brave and, and, and trusting her, her art and trusting her creativity um, through this residency, and my friends like Dr. Monique Liston, who was, was always looking for ways to help black folks and white folks understand what liberation truly looks like. Um, or even my baby sister, who has lived totally out loud as herself, um, in her queerness, even as a child, right? Just being so okay with being exactly who she was and not caring how anybody else felt about it. Um, I could go like on and on. Leah, right? The way you moved here, I don't know how many people you knew here, but it wasn't home. And you have just not only just came here and done your work, like you've embraced the community in such a way that is inspiring and such a great example. So I could, we could be here all day as I list like all of my amazing she wrote. There are just so many. I think this is, when I saw like the list of other women that were honored, honored I'm like, me? <laughs> me, really? Uh, I think in so many ways, I still just see myself as a person who's just doing her work. It's just like leaning into things that, I'm, that, I, that come easy for me and that, that I'm good at, and thinking about how can I take those and leverage those to just create like a positive impact. Um, so just in awe of the fact that I was selected to be honored and I'm um, just really excited to get to meet all the other women that I haven't met yet at the dinner.